Lord. Our Father in heaven, bless us as we learn about health. We ask for your spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we're talking about things you need to know, terms and such. I think the final is next week. Is it right? Or is it two weeks? Two weeks, I guess. Maybe it's two weeks, but there will be some new things I'm teaching you. Let's start with tryptophan. <clears throat> what is it? Tryptophan. It's an amino acid. You need to know that. Do you find a lot of it in poultry, like turkey and chicken? Yes, you do. And you need tryptophan in your brain. So is that a good reason to eat lots of poultry? No. You remember why not? Because the blood-brain barrier, they receive one by one uh, protein. Maybe? Yeah, the amino acids, I'll say it. You're mm -hmm. the right answer, but I'm going to say it so it's translated. Okay. Amino acids enter the brain through the blood-brain barrier. Amino acid, I would hear most of the progress barrier, rock to most of the barrier. And the large ones like tryptophan are transported by a certain molecule. Tryptophan is a borrow borrow on a gula, she on a gula or check to jam on a madam progress. In poultry, there are so many large amino acids that the tryptophan doesn't get opportunity or much opportunity. But in the vegetable sources, tryptophan is, is one of the more common large aminos. <coughs> yes, Melissa. Tryptophan is also amino acid, and poultry is also amino acid. Okay. So all proteins are made out of amino acids. So all meats are full of amino acids because they're full of protein. And tryptophan is a large amino acid. Oh, so others others get more chances, and they got so stayed behind. So when things are going through the blood-brain barrier, there are different transfer mechanisms for the different sizes of amino acids. And so tryptophan is, is transferred by the program for large aminos, but it's one of the less common large aminos in meat. So that, that's just the same answer I said, but you don't need to translate any of that. So tryptophan, why do you care about tryptophan? How does it help you? Tryptophan is not a thing that we have to do. Tryptophan is not a thing that Correct. This is right. And serotonin is used to make melatonin. So for your happiness and peace, happiness from serotonin and peace from melatonin, you need tryptophan. Now, if you have diabetes, like a lot of people have it, you need to watch how much you use paracetamol. Because the use of paracetamol more than doubles your likelihood of having kidney failure. So let's make sure you understand what I mean by that. Paracetamol increases kidney failure for what group of people? Paracetamol, oi shampol, oi kondharoner streni loke kidney shamusha shamuna bai. 
for the diabetics. Or you could say it the other way. You could say that diabetes in, increases kidney failure, especially for users of what drug? L like it's the two together that causes the big problems. Diabetes and diabetes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, kidney failure is in the there are many illnesses that uh, are related to sleep deprivation <clears throat> or sleep quality. There are many sicknesses or diseases related to not getting enough sleep. And quality sleep requires five qualities. Like good, good, good quality sleep needs to have these five characteristics. You should know all five characteristics. Because it's easy to teach when you just learn in this way. You probably can guess some of them even without looking in the board. For good sleep, you need it to be quiet. So not by the railroad. For good sleep, you need to be dark. So not having your phone in the room. Used after dark. <coughs> you need it to be tidy. If you have clothes on the floor and things scattered, your sleep will not be as good. Uh, floor the Melissa asked why. It has to do with what sleep is for. Sleep is for organizing data in your brain. And when your room is messy, it creates a lot more. A, a lot more data in your brain that needs to be sorted. So you want to make sure your room is tidy when you go to bed. And your room needs to be decently cool. That is, feeling hot disturbs sleep. You might accomplish this by a fan or by good circulation or both. Are you feeling hot at night here? Now it's now you're cold. Yes, but in the summer season, if even if you put the fan on full speed, but still you will feel hot, you will sweat and it's are you wearing too many clothes when you sleep? No. Thin t-shirt. No problem. What are you laughing about? No, it's something about us. Yeah. I don't know about the clothes. Yeah, I mean, I deny our Americans. We don't wear many clothes at all when we're sleeping. And uh, These are not our sleep clothes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are clothes. It's yeah. too hot in my room, Mr. Mm -hmm. Like too hot. I think in your room you want to have thick curtains on that window during the time of day when the sun shines there. That would keep, keep your room cooler. Okay. But uh, maybe you want to sleep with Shamitra. The hers, oh my! Hers is a cooler part of the room. But she like. What? Oh, she it, she plays what do you call that wrestling in her sleep. She talks, she cooks, she she put things in the fridge. So she'll be a very successful lady then. Yeah, very good. Uh, so the other one might be harder for you to come by, but you need to be comfortable in your sleep to sleep well. That might mean getting a thicker mattress. Um, mota mattress there, one of my family members in America, when we visit her, America, America, 
She puts us on a bed that slouches in the middle. We don't want to hurt her feelings. So once we close the door, I move to the floor. Because you can't sleep like this. Yeah. I sleep better like this. Okay, fine. The boys is better like that. Yes, go ahead. Is this because you need to use the toilet? I don't know. But these are the five things you can be looking for. <laughs> See if you have them all good. Okay. <laughs> so you so you have good air and not much noise here, right? This is a quiet place, I think. Except the rats. Yes. Rats. They are constant, but they don't shout like train, right? Let's move on. The, this next thing is a new point for you. Adolescence. Do you know this word, adolescence? It, it means boys that have started having uh, sperm ejaculation. Now, you probably want to explain it all. That w when you become sexually active, well, no, when you become able to be sexually active. So adolescents whose parents have rules about early bedtime. So jara balokal ashche tokhon jokhon tader baba ma tader ke bolche tara to ghumano kotha. They have less depression and less suicidal thoughts than adolescents who don't have such rules. So tader bhitore oi attohotta ba hotasha ototo beshi dekha jay na. Tar jader bhitore dekha jay so if Shamitra begins to say she wants to stay up late, we will make sure she still goes to bed early. For us or for her? For her. It reduces her likelihood of depression and suicidal thoughts. <laughs> I want you to remember what schizophrenia is. Do you remember what is schizophrenia? Schizophrenia ki jano? Yeah, disease of the mind. What are the major symptoms? There, there are two or three major symptoms of schizophrenia. Schizophrenia do it one of them is hearing voices. Voices that aren't really happening. One of them is seeing hallucinations, things that aren't really happening. And one of them is paranoia. Do you know that word paranoia? It's like the being suspicious that people are after you. <clears throat> so these three characteristics are the symptoms of schizophrenia. And what leads to schizophrenia? There are lots of answers to that. But you should know four. One of them is uh, your genetics. If your dad is schizophrenic, you're much, much, much more likely to be schizophrenic. One of them is the use of marijuana or other drugs. <coughs> Marijuana. Marijuana. Oi, tamat. Mani, kitchen. Jordan. 
না তামাক জাত না মেরিওয়ান এইটা তো মারিজুয়ান আর কি বাংলা দিয়ে এটা মারিজুয়ান ইউ মাই কল ইট গ্রাস ইউ মাই কল ইট উইড 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 আর এটাও তো ইংলিশ বাংলা কি কয় গাজা গাজা So the use of that drug leads to schizophrenia. Then having an uncontrolled imagination leads to schizophrenia. Or you just imagine stories. Like you might imagine yourself saving someone or you might imagine meeting a prince charming and imagine they getting together and having the uh wedding in a castle and yeah, like making up stories and the th- and the fourth one which happens in almost every single case is a week or more of severe sleep deprivation and arakta beshi porishoma jeta dekha jay seta hocche ek soptah ba tar beshi Sleep deprivation all by itself can produce some of these symptoms. So it gives you an idea of how to help. So it gives you an idea of how to help. So it gives you an idea of how to help. So no, not enough sleep, then uh have an un- uncontrollable fantasy and using marijuana and drugs and your genetics it is always have to be fantasies no you can imagine many things an uncontrolled imagination is a disease The next point I think might also be be new to you. And that is you can't evaluate if you have enough sleep just on the basis of how you feel. When people don't get enough sleep, they begin to have more accidents. And they have slower reaction times when they're talking to people. Both of those things happen even before they feel like they're low on sleep. So you might still you might feel like you're doing fine on 5 hours but it's going to be affecting you anyway. Like if they sleep 5 hours. Like they might feel like they're fine but already if you would measure you would see that they're going to more likely have an accident they're more like their reaction time when they're talking or when they're translating for example is going to be slower i slept well mr so fred good sometimes i do like so i don't understand jokhon mano sherokom mone korte pare jara 5 ghonta ghumay tara eta mone hote pare je tara bhalo ache thik ache kintu tader accident hoar shombhabona thake In about three weeks, um, we are going to have our carob. It's a miracle food. It was the main thing John the Baptist ate. When it says that he was eating locusts it's talking about carob. And uh, I already told you yesterday about how it helps with cancer and how it helps with arsenic. But you should know it's um arsenic but you should know it's a great source of calcium so that's good for bones and it's a great source of fiber so that would help prevent constipation and diseases of the gut um 
অঞ্জলের রোগ থেকে রক্ষা করতে পারে এমন কোন ভাই থাকে তুমি ওই তেতুলের মতো ইটস ইটস লাইক আ ট্যামারিন but the, what's going to come here is going to be a powder oh powder that looks like cocoa powder it'll look a bit like cocoa powder not mm-hmm. quite as dark and it's it's, it's more sweet than unsweetened cocoa powder but much less sweet than sweetened cocoa powder unsweetened cocoa powder isn't sweet it's mm-hmm. bitter mm-hmm. it's really bitter so and she asked to see that it's a kid তারপরে উনি বলছে যে আমরা পাবো এটা পাউডার আকারে এবং এটা খাইতে বেশ মিষ্টি কিন্তু আবার ওই যে কোকো পাউডার আছে না ওটা তো মিষ্টি প্রজাতির কোন মিষ্টি তার থেকে কম মিষ্টি সো হু এট কোক হু এট ক্যারপ বিফোর ইউ তোমার আগে কে ক্যারপ খাইছিল ইউ জন দ্য ব্যাপটিস্ট ব্যাপটিস্টের কথা যখন ইয়া দ্যাটস ইম্পর্টেন্ট বিকজ হি ইজ বোথ ইন দ্য কোরআন এন্ড ইন দ্য বাইবেল কারণ So almost everyone in Bangladesh has likely heard of him. How does it say about John? It says that his diet was locusts and wild honey. No, no, no. In, 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 in Bangladesh, in the Quran. In the Quran. Uh, it's more than one time he's mentioned there as the forerunner of Jesus. The one who announced Jesus. You know, in Bangla, locust actually literally turns himself into a grasshopper. Yeah, and this is a problem. Yeah, what's your next day? <coughs> what's your next day last day when we were going to get our next day? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, are, uh, you also explained that locust is uh, something. And now we're going to have it here problem. so we can show them. Can this it. is the locust. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> here, we're going to have it here. So when you don't get enough sleep <laughs> over the course of weeks <laughs> this does damage to your frontal lobe <laughs> and the damage it does reduces your ability to be creative It reduces your intellectual curiosity, your interest in learning. It reduces your interest in spiritual things. So when we're going door to door selling books, we really depend on two of those things, the interest in God and the interest in learning. <coughs> so lots of the disinterest we meet may be a result of low sleep quality. A lot of the disinterest we meet, people who aren't interested, may be a result of low sleep quality. And if you help them with sleep, a few months later you may find them much more interested in important things. That makes sense to you. <coughs> Prozac. Uh, Prozac is one of the most prescribed drugs in the world for depression and anxiety. And it's been measured uh, straight against saffron. Uh, and saffron has been found to be just as effective as Prozac without the side effects. ছাড়া <coughs> 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 Yeah? You do or don't? We don't. I, we do, but on a, very rare. Very rare. It would probably grow better on the higher elevations. I told Lily to bring seeds and she did bring, but we didn't have the time to plant them. So we still have them here. 
We should try planting them on the top of one of our hills. Do we grow on the hill? Better. It like it, it likes cooler than hotter. So lavender hotche ek dhorne baaj jay ta thanda jaygay. It does fine in dry places. It would be fine to plant it now. Eta jay to shukna jaygay pasundu kore. Eta bhalo hobe jodi amra akhoni. It would need just a little water. Into all po pani dakka. But lavender has. A substance in it that helps with anxiety. Lavender, because it acts on the Upata Nasa Jaja, would take it to no hollow. So I want to talk about two of the minerals that we have mentioned. Magnesium. Magnesium. First of all, you can get magnesium in many places. Magnesium to a window jacket. Like if you're eating a whole foods diet, you're probably getting good magnesium. Unless you're skipping seeds and nuts. And uh, magnesium is antidepressant all by itself. Magnesium Depression is anti-depressant. Because it helps your body process the tryptophan to make serotonin. Zinc is also anti-depressant. And zinc helps your immune system. And for men, zinc helps make sperm. And where do you get zinc? Especially in lentils and garbanzos. Yeah, and these are pretty common foods in Bangladesh. So, so these are pretty common foods in Bangladesh. So if you're eating them, a fair amount of them, you're probably getting good zinc. So maybe this is why you wouldn't have as much depression in Bangladesh as you do in America. sorry. Do you have any questions about the things that are up here? Cancer. Oh, let me talk to you about what zinc helps with. Zinc really helps you fight several types of cancer. Like prostate cancer. For reasons that if you think through what I told you already, you'll understand. Zinc is strongly used by the prostate. And it helps with depression, we mentioned that. It helps with Crohn's disease. That's an irritable bowel disease. Like a... And zinc is important to the healing process when you're recovering from diabetes. Let me explain what I mean by that. When you have diabetes, it damages your body. When you follow our advice, you begin to heal from diabetes. Zinc is part of that healing process. And uh, omega threes, we talked yesterday about how helpful they are. There are three types of omega three acids in in uh, the human system. Only one of them is found in uh, plants. The other two are found in uh, living things. So you need all three types. Zinc is what you need to turn the vegetable type into the other two types. 
Let me get two. Yeah. Wait, what? What? Z? Z is what you need to turn the one type of omega-3 into the other type of two oh. omega-3s. So there, zinc is using like the omega-3 to turn, so uh -huh. zinc is the same. So there are three types of omega-3s, mm -hmm. and your body can make the two missing ones from the one it has if it has zinc. Amader shori, amader, amra jhe to matro ek dhronne omega-3 pai, zinc, o ek dhronne omega-3 ke aro or to say that in another way, if you don't have zinc in your diet, you need fish because you need omega 3s. But fish will come with all those toxins. So better get the zinc. And where do you get zinc? Supplements. Garbanzos and lentils. Melissa is asking if I know about the different types of lentils here. And the answer is no. But I think it would be easy information to find. <clears throat> if you did a Google search for different uh, mineral content for different varieties of lentils, you probably would find it. <clears throat> you have any questions about what we have up here already? The jing is a dalabon sole solana. Would the key sole castle, funny bichano for Manakata Kiliki Palo, Naki Damna correct for a is it good to eat without soaked one or cooking? A zinc is a mineral, so cooking won't hurt it. You could either raw or cooked would be the same in your body. There are other nutrients that are affected by cooking. But it seems like God intended intended most grains to be cooked. It's hard to digest most raw grains. Any other questions here? Mr. Pruitt, yes. yesterday you mentioned a lot more things that you're doing right here. Yes. So, so you, you can just bunch this name of them. I'll go by them one by one. Okay, keto diet. Okay, do you do you are are you familiar with the keto diet? Keto diet, please. Ano? K E T O. K E T O. It's a it's a big fad. Eta hote bol chori. Probably the richest people in Bangladesh are following it. Eta hote Bangladesh er anek dhoni dhoni lokera eta onishon kore. It's a way to lose weight. Eta hote. And it works by a very interesting system. It causes your body to start eating its own cells. So, this, of course, this causes weight loss. But what is it like? It's high fat and high protein. And low carbohydrates. So is it good for you? Well, losing weight is good for you. But having your guts eaten up by themselves is not good for you. But it's terrible for your kidneys. And it's terrible for your cancer likely. So the keto diet might help you lose weight, but it does not help your health. 
The diet we recommend causes you to lose just as much weight. While saving your kidneys and preventing cancer. Oh. Okay, so now I don't need your help anymore because I got help from this lady. So I talked to you about phenylethylamine. Uh, it's usually abbreviated in medical literature as P, P E A. Do you remember phenylethylamine? So when when uh, Anil began getting lovely letters from Miss Ujarang. He began to get feelings. No, I haven't been watching you two. So I don't know if you ever hold hands. Maybe you never do it. Uh, have you seen it? Oh, so according to a rumor, it has happened. <laughs> when you began to touch, <laughs> your body began to produce this hormone. <laughs> Phenylethylamine. <laughs> this hormone creates strong feelings. <laughs> but it doesn't last forever. <laughs> And uh, when it starts to go down, if your relationship doesn't have something more important than this, it will fall apart. This is why I counsel young people not to kiss early. I say build your relationship on something important. On, on, on interests and activities. On personality and character. Because once you start the P, the phenylethylamine, it's hard to think about those other things. And it kind of keeps your relationship shallow. Do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? So form the, the important relationship before you get to the touch. Then you can enjoy the phenylethylamine without any harm. And when it goes away, you'll still love each other. You, you follow what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's important to understand phenylethylamine. If you don't understand it, you can begin to think, I don't love her anymore. But it has nothing to do with love. You just ran out of hormones. You, you follow what I'm trying to say. Yes. Uh, we talked about wheat allergies. <coughs> that three quarters of them are all in the head. Even some of the people who want to come help us in this country have wheat allergies. I haven't taught them about this. There's a one in four chance they really are allergic to gluten. But for three quarters of these people, if you give them something that they think has gluten, but it doesn't have gluten, they will have the reaction. Sorry. 
And if you hide gluten in something and they don't recognize it, they won't have the reaction. So where is this allergy at? Yeah, it's in the head. Uh, this is a billion dollar, like, this is a hundred billion taka industry in America. Producing wheat-free food. Actual billion dollar industry, a gluten-free product. So it's hard to get the information out that it's mostly in people's head. Because there's too much money in convincing them that it really is real. You understand what I'm saying? You're worried about the wasp? Mm -hmm. this, you feel the heat? Oh, it's blowing the heat from the roof? Mm -hmm. You want to turn it off, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I want you to be sure that you understand placebo and nocebo. I uh, want placebo and nocebo. Kemi, can you tell me about placebo? Or a Neil, can you tell me about placebo? No, no, no. Can you tell me? Yes, the whole body responds to these thoughts. If you read the Ministry of Healing, in chapter 18, it says that there are some people who are sick their entire life who would get better immediately if they didn't think that they were sick. Or people who expect to get sick when they feel a breeze. So they do get sick when, they, when the breeze blows on them. That is nocebo. Nocebo is when you get sick because you expect it. And placebo is when you get well because you expect it. It's the same idea, just the two sides of it. <coughs> I want you to be sure you understand how these two words affect uh, studies about medicines and nutrition. Uh, Let me say it to you and make sure you understand. Society is programmed to expect medicine to make them better. So if you go to a pharmacy here on this road, there's, there's about six on this road. And if you watch, if the man there prescribes a medicine, the people brighten a bit. They expect it's going to help them. And even if the medicine is not helpful, they're likely to be benefited. So the drug industry really benefits from placebo. But if we talk to that man, and we tell him, your high blood pressure patients don't need medicine. They just need to stop using salt. And now he says that to someone. That's not what they want to hear. They're looking for medicine. Even though it might really help them, it might not help them. Because they're not expecting it to help them. So when we teach health principles, we need to sound 
like we know what we're talking about. We need to have some confidence. So that we don't have a nocebo effect to our advice. If you say to someone, I think if you stop eating big suppers, it might help with your diabetes. The nocebo effect is likely to come. And require you understand what I'm trying to say. Confidence is an important part of health advice. And people need to know that placebo is, is a big part of why medicine is helping them. <laughs> Any questions about that? <clears throat> so we've talked about two nutrients that are formed inside the gut by bacteria. One is called short chain fatty acids. SCFA. The other one is called uh, liposaccharides. Um, these are quite different. Uh, the lipopolysaccharides like the fat in your diet, like the, the bacteria that make them like the fat in your diet. The, the bottom one, the lipopolysaccharides uh -huh. are formed by bacteria that like fat. And the short chain fatty acids are formed by bacteria that like, um, that like fiber. Are short chain fatty acid eglo hoche ammon bacteria jeta ash jati hoi posun. But uh, the, S, the short chain fatty acids are really important to your health. Are eta toma the shasta jono onek gurtu gurtu. They are. Uh, They are the energy source for the, the cells that line your gut. That is, most of your body operates by ATP. But your gut operates by SCFA. So, so if you have a low fiber diet, your gut is, is starving. And if you have a high fat diet, the the The, lip, the lipopolysaccharide is an endotoxin that causes depression by brain information, brain inflammation. A lipopolysaccharide is a brain. It causes inflammation of the brain. It a brain inflammation to A part of the brain that is related to depression and anxiety. Brain is one of the things that is related to depression so what am I saying? Your diet affects which of these two chemicals are produced in your gut. Yeah, it's a big difference. Any questions about those? Do you know the substance called psyllium? I no. think when people get uh, constipation in this country, the pharmacies will give them milk of magnesia. Uh, 
little bit of magnesia there. But another uh, thing they could use is psyllium. Both of these help eliminate constipation. And a psyllium would be preferable if you can find it. Time is up. Well, I got through one column. Soy is left. Agamika. And some vitamins. Yeah. Let me, well, let me just finish about soy briefly. Soy Soy has a chemical called phytoestrogen. Soy is a chemical called phytoestrogen. Can you tell me the spelling? Uh, phyto is P H Y T O. P H Y T O. And estrogen is E S T R O G E N. So you should recognize the last half of that word. Estrogen is an important female hormone. Estrogen female hormone. And the more more estrogen a lady has, the more likely her chance of getting breast cancer. breast cancer when you eat soy, soy's phytoestrogen bonds with the receptors for estrogen. Soy phytoestrogen estrogen That blocks the estrogen and reduces the breast cancer risk. breast cancer so soy is great for preventing breast cancer. Soy breast cancer All right. Yes. All right. Let's pray. And we'll be done. Our Father in heaven, bless us in our studies. Increase our comprehension. I ask in the name of Jesus. Amen.